now I'm taking a step back mm -hmm. and, and looking at what they're doing now, which is saying, take the vaccine, take the vaccine. And it's like, if, if, if what you, if what you're saying is true, which you're very, you, you obviously are very knowledgeable about this, how can they have built a vaccine based on that information, you know, like, and, and claim that it's going to work? Yeah. Basically what a vaccine does, um, vaccines are the idea that you, um, expose a human being to slow poison. And, uh, so you become more resistant because you expose the person to, a um, a less severe virus. Okay. But this is not good. This is not good at all. Um, this can destroy your, what you might call immune system or your body mm -hmm. long-term. This can have long-term effects. What you do is you can suppress symptoms. So for example, we all know measles. We um, all know that you get, um, yeah, very prominent symptoms or the coronavirus. You can, um, yeah, develop flu symptoms or with any flu, basically. Yeah. So maybe you can, you can suppress those symptoms for a while, but it can have very detrimental long-term effects on your body. And maybe those symptoms, when your body expresses symptoms, it's not a bad thing. It doesn't right. mean that you are, it, it, it's not the indicator itself that you are sick. It means that your, that your body is fighting against that. Exactly. And yeah. you can have a very simple analogy. Um, why are you coughing if you are a really heavy smoker, for example, because your body is trying to release those toxins. Yeah. So if you take cough syrup now and you stop coughing, are you going to be cured no. from the negative effects of smoking? No, no, the toxins not. that you're putting in there are going to stay yeah, in there then. Exactly. Okay. So if you're just suppressing symptoms, it doesn't really cure you, but you can say on paper that it cured you because you're no longer coughing. It cured your cough, yes, but it didn't really heal, heal you from the actual problem. Even right. worse, because now you might suffocate. Now the toxins are staying inside. Hmm. That's how vaccines work. It's crazy, man. This is, uh, I mean, uh, and then the whole mask thing. What do you think about masks? What do you yeah. think I think about masks? I would honestly. <laughs> do you want me to answer that or do you want to you go? In an experimental setting, I would let someone spit at me who was tested positive for COVID-19 and prove to them that I'm not going to get sick because of that. In an I, experimental that's, setting, that's I don't statement. want to challenge anyone. <laughs> <laughs> People start spitting on you at the, on the street. Yeah. You did it. You asked for this. Of course, that's yeah. them admitting they have uh, coronavirus. I mean, we've got, I got this article here that I was just reading today. Oh, hold on one sec. And uh, this is, it's Fauci and Rand Paul basically arguing about his whole, because Fauci, I, I'm sure, I'm assuming you know who Dr. Fauci is in America. Yeah, sure. Um, you know, he's, he's flip-flopped back and forth for a year straight. Oh, yeah. You know, wear a mask, mm -hmm. don't wear, well, first it was don't wear a mask. Now, now wear a mask. Masks don't do anything. Now you need to wear two masks. Vaccine is not going to do anything. Everyone needs to be vaccinated, but it's not going to work anyway. Wear a mask and, and still we have to be locked in. It's like, so, I mean, Rand Paul basically ripped him up. He's like, you're telling everyone, to, this is a quote from him right here. He says, you're telling everyone to wear a mask. If we're not spreading the infection, isn't that just theater? You have the vaccine and you're wearing two masks. Isn't that theater? And of course, Fauci just says, here we go again with the theater. Um, he doesn't actually respond. And he says, uh, he says, I agree with that, uh, that you very likely would have protection from wild type for at least six months if you're infection or if you're infected, Fauci said, but then pointed out there's no protection from some of the more infectious variants like the one uh, first found in South Africa. The variant are a good reason for a masks. So. They're, he's basically saying, yeah, well, now there's like six different COVID-19s uh, that are, are spreading and changing. And so... Do you want I mean, me to explain mutations? Well, I want to... Uh, yeah, I do. Um, I want to go I back to what important. you already Why said are there mutations? earlier. You yeah. said they designed this to last forever. Yeah. They want they can, this whenever forever. Whenever they want, yeah. And this is, this is yeah, basically referring to mutations as well. Sure, yeah, go so for it. So what they did is they, they then created a new, they basically did this whole procedure with the alignment, again, the new, yeah, the blueprint thing, <laughs> what I just talked about, the computer models. Right. So they just took a different patient this time. And obviously, yep. we don't all have the same kind of RNA in our snod. 
Right. So this time they had a different set of Lego bricks. Yeah. And so they constructed something that was slightly different. Of course. And then they called this, oh my God, we have a mutation. Fear. Yeah. That's all, that's all I'm saying. That proves even more Gosh. that it's probably just human RNA. And here's yep. something, here's something. This is a key fact, basically. The PCR test, um, like I said, it's basically just for multiplying um, genetic material. Okay. And um, it's done in cycles. So um, because you want to have a certain amount of genetic material so you can see it under the microscope. And um, it takes about... 35 or more cycles to see anything if the person test is supposed to test positive. Okay. But when do you make the cutoff? When do you say, okay, now we've got enough cycles? Right. And that's arbitrary. Or at least there are many uh. laboratory, laboratories that make the cutoff at different, yeah, at different amounts of cycles. And this of is course. very important because after a certain amount of cycles, something like over 40 cycles, the test is useless because everyone tests positive. And what does this mean? This means that everybody, even healthy people, seem to have a certain amount, a tiny amount of this type of RNA in their body. So does that mean it's not harmful? Does that mean it's not viral and, and, uh, it, and from outside, but it's actually endogenous? Yeah. Because everyone seems to have a little bit of it inside of them. Yeah. I've never, I haven't heard that before. Yeah. So if they test everyone, everyone's got COVID. Yeah. So if everyone has COVID, they, then we're if good. If they use too many cycles, then yes. Gosh, man. Texas is open to 100%. Have you heard about this? Yeah. They said, we're opening. No more mask mandates. Congratulations, Texas. You're free. How, how's it like over there in uh, Germany? Bad. <laughs> it's bad. Yeah. Um, yeah. Now they are slowly opening things up again, but it's it's always a back and forth. And it's completely arbitrary. And yeah. now, for example, if you want to go shopping, you have to um, online get a ticket for the individual shops. I really? I really, yeah, I really don't care about all of that lifestyle. I, I live my own life. I, I, I go everywhere with my bike, basically. And so it doesn't really interest me what's open and what's not open. I would like to go back to the gym, but yeah, all of that. I don't have, I, I don't, I don't want to rely on things opening up again because i know that um maybe this might go well for me in the start maybe i can go back to the gym soon but then they will close things again or they will require you to um Show get tested papers. or even get the vaccine and i don't want to get tested because i don't want to be part of a statistic that is based on fraud i don't want to be a, a human global experiment thank you neither do mm -hmm. i and it does feel like that's what it is exactly